Hey, good morning, beautiful Sag. Don't mind me. I'm wearing my deceased son's um, hoodie today. I just, you know, some days I get like that. I need my loved ones close. This is my loved one. I can still smell his scent. And I'm not washing this hoodie. Ever. I, well, I'm never going to say never, but it's very comforting. Sagittarius so thank you for being here thank you for liking commenting subscribing for your generosity I feel led to say that a lot of people be don't believe in love anymore it's a real pessimistic defeatist kind of outlook to life you know you can love a tree you can love a plant a fish a bird a pet your loved ones loved ones you can love yourself you can love the world you can love anybody you choose to love let me see I got my margarita glass here guys I've got letters and numbers in here I just got this little deck yesterday and I'm going to try it out for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. The letter C, 33, and F. It's already meaning something to me. <laughs> Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The number 38. You could be 38 or 38 and 33. Oh my. Three. Again, 333. Three, three. Somebody could be 50, 51. Change, change. 333. Three, three. These are angelic numbers, guys. And another three, two fives. Or you could be 50, 51, or born in 1950 or 51. Eighteen and five, five. Look at the fives. Your birthday could be the 3rd, the 18th, or these numbers might be of significant to you. 38, 33, 18, 3, 50, 51, 55, 5, 5, 5, 5, 3, 3, 3, 3. These initials. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. 23. Another three. Threes and fives. Sag. 13. These could be your birth dates. Nineteen. The letter A is popping out. Thirty-six. Forty four. A lot of power numbers in these numbers, Saj. One and nine is a ten, a new beginning.
could be your birth dates. Like I said, 23rd, 13, 19, 18, 3, 44, 36. A lot of numbers want to appear and very few initials. Let me dump this out. I have better luck when I am holding. Yeah. 15 and the letter H. Could mean something to you. Thirty-two. Another three. I can't believe the amount of threes. Fifty-two. These birth years could be of significance. Twenty-eight. It's enough. Let's get some gemstones. The only initials that come out is A, C, F, and H. Let's see if it means anything. Feed your creativity with carnelian. Angel Aura Quartz to help you lighten your energy. Chrysophrase, allow yourself to receive healing. Green, greens, oranges, bloodstone to help get you moving. Hematite, to ground yourself. Azurite, to get you laser focused. Smoky Quartz, will help let whatever it is go. I'm going to go get me some Smoky Quartz, I know that. And Azurite. I have lots of hematite. Messages for Sag. Notice the pattern and be fluid, letting it go. F flow with divine timing. Create a sacred space and look in the mirror and choreograph. Put it all together. Something is being choreographed for you. Giving birth, perhaps, to a new life, a new idea, a new creation. It's all forming the pieces of the puzzle are all coming together. This is mirroring. Hmm. Perfect timing, ordained by the angels. It is never too late or too early. No matter your age, no matter your circumstances, it's never too late. Beautiful souls, you inspire and uplift others. Look up. 
and look forward. Welcome. New developments for positive change. Take charge. Leadership and self-discipline are required to take control of your life. Some of you have already done that. Some of you are still, that is what is being choreographed. <coughs> Miracles out of mistakes. Use your mistakes to inspire and empower you to face brighter days ahead. Absolutely, Saj. Positive energy. Not everybody can do that. Like I say, a lot of people, I don't know why, if it's the moon phases, a lot of this is not you, Sagittarius. It is in the general energies around you. There could be a lot of, you know, negativity. Fire Guardian, ignite your passion. You've had to retreat and recharge to go within, soul searching, creating a sacred space. Look, enjoy growth and reap the rewards. Intend and create. This is the high priest. This is a druid. This is holding your space, holding the space. This is druid energy of hermit energy. This is a soul journey. And here we have the snake. The snake is not always a serpent, you know what I mean? This is ancient healing. This is ancient wisdom. Shedding old skin. Birthing something new. Taking care of your own needs. You could be an oracle. You could be waiting for important information. Or someone is an oracle. Someone could be a druid. Someone actually could be a druid. Or of a druid ancestry. This is Celtic uh, belief systems. Using ancient wisdom here. Healing. Snakes are healing. Medicine. Your words or your information may be helping others to heal. Sagittarius. Again. This is a Queen of Cups. This is a nurturing, loving, empathic, intuitive. Hmm. This is a page of cups. A 
a love offer, offering love, offering guidance, offering assistance, caringness, or it could actually be a younger energy, a child. The chariot. This could be a Cancerian. Or it could be you empowering yourself and helping to empower others. Hmm. There could have been some sort of five of illness or feeling in lack. Seven of Wands. This is uh, defensive or it is setting boundaries. The Star. Healing. Knight of Wands is good news or sharing your information, or sharing your news to help people to heal. Somebody may have had a period of lack or sickness Nine of Swords is anxiety, could be depression, could be PTSD. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. King and Queen of Cups, guys. Who said love doesn't exist? Love comes in many different forms, guys. It doesn't always have to be romantic love. This could be brotherly love. This could be fatherly love. Motherly love. Love of self. Or someone new. It's Ten of Pentacles. Love you a long time. That's a long time. This is generational wealth. This is a long time. Now, why do we have the Five of Swords here? Is this rivalry? Jealousy? Envy? Or someone feeling defeated? Envy. The moon. Fear. Intuition. Deep emotions, deep feelings, 
a deep connection. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Two of Cups. I'm going to love you forever. The Emperor. <laughs> hmm. You could be this Emperor. Finding your Queen of Cups. This is a soulmate. Like I said, some of you have mothers, fathers, brothers, sons, daughters who are your soulmates. I didn't see the lover's card come out here yet. Hmm. Hmm. This could be an awakening. This is a tower. Doesn't always have to be a bad thing. It could be sudden arrival, sudden departure. An epiphany. Or it could be sudden wealth and sudden success. Sudden victory. High honor. High respect. Accolades. Sagittarius, Three of Cups. It's all being choreographed. It is all coming together. And it's looking like for the higher good. This is the Hierophant. This is commitment. This is an ascension, a sudden ascension or a sudden mentoring. Being a guide, a mentor, a leader, or commitment, or the Ascended Masters, or God is choreographing something in your life, bringing all the missing pieces together. Hmm. Someone is learning. Someone is observing a mentor. Someone definitely could be watching out for you learning from you. Learning from the ancestors. The ancestors could be watching your back or your passed over loved ones are watching out for you. This is the two of spheres, which is the two of coins. 
trying to get something back into balance. Justice. It is about balance. Making a decision. Ace of Swords. In this deck, the, which is the Black Tarot, the sword has already been drawn. Win or lose, someone has your back. They're going to be there for you in good times, in bad times. I'll be on your side forevermore. That's what friends are for. <laughs> Don't mind my throat. I'm having a difficult time. Win, lose, or draw. In good times and bad times. Seven of Cups. Choices. Consequences. Options. Confusion. Illusion. Someone is seeing and cutting through the illusion. Knight of Swords. In this deck, this is what it represents. The fog is lifting. This is someone being raised from the ground up high so they can see. Cutting through the fog, cutting through the illusion. Helping hands. I like this deck. I've never used it. It's completely different. This is six of spheres. This is balance. You know, you take the good with the bad. These are vows. In good times and bad times, I'll be on your side forevermore. Eight of Wands. Messages. Accelerated motion. Communication. Taking a leap of faith. It's like being catapulted out of the dark into the light. Page of Spheres. This is um, a message. Somebody wants this important information. Oh boy, Seven of Spheres. Seven a coin. Time. Divine timing. 
This is the tree of life in this card. Growth. Takes time. Seven is important, spirit saying, or this energy who is speaking to me, saying seven. Let's just see what this seven means. What does this seven of spheres mean? It's like, it takes time. Time heals all wounds. Growth, toil, and labor. <gasps> it is. It's fears. Nine of spheres. And in this card... The spheres are all going around this tree. The tree of life. Oh, the message is, look, from the seven to the nine. Time. Timing. This is confidence, self assuredness, entrepreneurial energy. From dark to light, from light to dark, in good times and bad times. You know, this is the land of plenty with the nine of. Pentacles takes time to develop. Ah, the lovers. <laughs> sure as heck. Divine timing. Strength. Courage and determination. A strong connection. A powerful connection is about to be giving birth. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Takes time to grow a tree. That's what the ancestors are saying. If you want a powerful tree with deep, deep roots, look at the roots of this tree go. Look at, oh, I don't know if you can see that, but the roots are deeper than the tree. This is deeply rooted. It takes time to grow a harvest. It takes time to grow a tree. A firm foundation. The roots are deep. Solid. A solid tree. A solid ancestry. A tree of life is here. But the roots are so deeply embedded that any tower would not blow this tree over. It's solid, like the Nine of Pentacles. There is this romance coming in, or knight in shining armor.
a promise. Is a promise. Mm -hmm. Here comes the Page of Wands. This could be a young fire sign or a messenger of good news or waiting for good news. <laughs> Ace of Wands. This could be extending out the olive branch or a new beginning, a passionate new beginning, or a new creative idea. Anything takes time to develop. Love relationships of any type. It doesn't matter what type they are. Loyalty is loyalty. A promise is a promise. Ten of Cups. Family. Emotionally fulfilled. Look. Oh my God. The Four of Wands. Look at the steps up to the light. That's the stairway to heaven. Healing. If some of you have lost, like I said, this could be my own son. Letting me know that he is at rest, at peace, has ascended to the ancestors, climbed the stairway to heaven. Can't buy your way to heaven. Led Zeppelin. Maybe that means something to you. Stairway to heaven. Somebody made it. That is the message you might have been waiting to hear. Somebody's crossed over a loved one is definitely coming through. It could even be my own child. They're healed. They're at rest. They made it there. They have ascended the stairway to heaven. Somebody, I'm going to choke up. <laughs> I got to pause. Okay, guys, I'm back. I had to collect myself. I got really emotional. It is ancestors, without a doubt. It is your loved ones coming through. And this is why I got emotional. Just let me do this at my own time. Whoa. Okay. 
they're saying, do not be sad and burdened because I am free. I've made it. I'm free. I am not burdened. I'm not sad. Oh my God, spirit. So let it go. Wheel of Fortune. It's time to let something go. Or they're saying it was just my time to go. Change. I don't know if I can finish this. They're looking to the future. Look to the future. <sighs> They've left all their troubles behind balance this is an angel temperance Patience. <laughs> They're not in pain. All the swords are been pulled out. They're not in pain. They've healed. Or you have. They're at rest. They're at peace. Free from the free, they're free. This is sincerity, groundedness. They're solid. They're grounded. Oh my God. Complete. Complete.
whole. <laughs> what the message? They're whole. They're free. Free of any deceit, trickery, fulfilled. They're fulfilled. Hard working, working together as a collaboration, working together. The magician. You, this person this is death someone crossing over and moving forward free look the hermit their soul is free their soul has ascended this person is standing in the light Healing. This is the message you could have been waiting for. Wondering if a loved one who has passed over has ascended. The answer is yes. They're standing in the light. And you may have guided them there. This is the Empress giving birth. It's your seed. This could also be saying there is life after death. I've made it here. And they could be being reborn, shows this child in the womb. to someone very grounded they are saying don't fear
I have ascended. Look at the light. They made it to the light. Jeez, guys. Page of Cups. That's loyalty. That's a romance. That is a young person delivering a message. Could be a child. Rebirthing. You could be this Queen of Wands. This is a leader. Someone dedicated, loyal. The sun. They're happy. They're happy. Six of Cups, guys. Slow. Sincere. Slow. takes time, time to develop. Someone is saying I'm no longer, I'm no longer in between. This is grounded, sincere, slow. It could be a um, happy. The high priestess. spiritual this person is saying I wasn't certain that there was a spiritual realm but they're saying there is that's the truth This is a leader, a warrior. This is judgment.
the world. Completed a cycle. There are still cords attached. I might be gone, but I'm still attached. There are two cords still attached to the world, to heaven. Found their way. I'm telling you. Truth. Ace of Cups. Whole. The chalice, the holy grail, is real. Love is what pulled someone through. Love. L O V E. Love. So when people say there is no love, that is a contradiction. That's the Holy Grail. That is the chalice, the womb. <laughs> For God so loved the world, he gave his only son. There is no need to sacrifice. It's real. Someone's ancestors, loved ones, crossed over people are coming through today and they're saying love is what keeps us connected. Love is what pulls us through the dark to the light. Of course, there is love. It's real. Someone's ancestors want, uh, they're saying a lot of you had questions about that. Yes, it's real. So, when people say there is, you know, questionable whether there is a God, questionable about if there is reincarnation, questioning whether there is love upon this earth, love is what holds us together you know, connects us to source. Yes. Whether we're alone, whether we're with someone. We're not alone. That's the tunnel to the afterlife. And someone is saying, I made it. It's real. It exists, and so does God. Somebody may have been, you know, waiting here in this realm. Until this message was delivered. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Ancestors. And thank you, the loved ones who have passed away for that message. Love is real. And love does exist. 
all around us. I gotta get out of here, guys. I love you guys. Thank you.